In this video, we will learn how to derive the expenditure function from the given utility function and budget equation. The question is, consider the utility function and budget equation of consumer respectively. U is equal to x1 times x2. x1 and x2 are the two goods. M denotes the budget of the consumer, which is equal to P1 times x1, price of good 1 times, uh, you know, quantity of good x1 plus price of good 2 times quantity of good x2 we have to derive the expenditure function of the consumer okay so how do we do that very stuff let's first write the utility function which is being given us is u is equal to x1 times x2 okay and also we are being given the budget equation that is m is equal to p1 x1 plus p2 x2 okay so first step is you know to find the first order condition for optimality that means uh, first order condition for maximization or optimization requires that the marginal rate of substitution between two goods one and two should be equal to their price ratio that means p1 upon p2 okay so what is marginal rate of substitution it is simply uh, the marginal utility of good x1 upon marginal utility of good x2 should be equal to the price ratio that means p1 upon p2 and what is marginal utility of good x1 that means the partial derivative of the given utility function with respect to uh, x1 that means mu1 means the derivative of utility function with respect to good x1 okay will give us the marginal utility of good x1 divided by mu2 symmetrically means the partial derivative of utility function with respect to good x2 okay x2 and let's calculate it here first du upon dx1 means taking derivative of this utility function with respect to x1 derivative of x1 is 1 so we are left with x2 here so we have x2 divided by du upon dx2 means taking partial derivative of utility function with respect to x2 derivative of x2 will be 1 here so we are left with x1 okay and it should be equal to the ratio of the prices that means p1 upon p2 now solving this for x2 <coughs> sorry <coughs> x2 will be equal to uh, p1 upon p2 transposing it will get multiplied so this is x1 let us say this is equation second this is equation first now put the value of x2 into the equation first so what will we get let us see as can you it so we have u is equal to in place of, okay let me write here x1 first now in place of x2 i will write this stuff that is uh, p1 p1 upon p2 times x1 which gives us u is equal to x1 into x1 is x1 square x1 square into p1 upon p2 that gives us solving for x1 so x1 square will be equal to so transposing uh, this to lhs it will get reciprocated and multiplied so we have u times p1 p2 will become p2 upon p1 okay simple uh, uh, stuff here you can do it pretty well i know okay so it got reciprocated that means x1 will be equal to the positive square root okay here it is square transposing it will become root so we have under root of u times p2 upon p1 okay 
now what will be x2 so x2 will be equal to, we know that x2 is this stuff so x2 will be equal to uh, p1 upon p2 and taking the value of x1 which we got here which is under root so i can write under root uh, this uh, stuff can be written as u raised power 1 upon 2 we have p2 raised power 1 upon 2 divided by p1 raised power 1 upon 2 okay i have just expanded this now here you can see our x2 and let me write it here or let's write it here so x2 will be equal to x2 will be equal to so if i uh, transpose this p1 raised power 1 upon 2 to numerator exponent sign will get changed so if we have we have p1 here so p1 here if i transpose this it will become p1 raised power minus 1 upon 2 bases are same we can add up the exponents so it will become p1 1 raised, uh, raised power 1 minus 1 upon 2 so this comes out to be 1 minus 1 upon 2 comes out to be p1 raised power 1 upon 2 okay so in place of this i can write p1 raised power 1 upon 2 symmetrically if i transpose this p uh, p2 raised power 1 upon 2 to denominator it will get uh, multiplied with this p2 again exponent sign will change so we will get uh, p2 raised power 1 upon 2 and then we have this u raised power 1 upon 2 okay that means our x2 will be equal to x2 will be equal to so again writing in in this fashion so we will get uh, it is equal to u times p1 upon p2 p1 upon p2 so this is the demand function for good x1 demand function for good x2 okay after that we need to find out the expenditure function okay now you know the expenditure expenditure function is a function which is uh, you know a function of price of good one price of good two and utility and how do we get simply uh, given our uh, budget equation in this we plug the value of x1 and x2 which we got here that means we have p1 as it is in place of x1 uh, we have this demand function okay so we plug this value uh, which is p1 times under root of u p2 upon p1 uh, plus we have p2 p2 times the value of x2 we, we uh, what we got here which is equal to u times p1 upon p2 okay solving it again so we have uh, how do we write it p1 is in the numerator p2 is in the denominator but is but it is under root so let us first uh, write it in this fashion so we have p1 under root under root u under root p2 and this can be written as if i expand it is a p1 raised power 1 upon 2 uh, if i transpose this back into numerator it will become p1 times p1 raised power minus 1 upon 2 we have a u p2 so again bases are same we can add up the exponents it will become uh, p1 raised power 1 upon 2 then we have under root u p2 okay so this uh, simply means under root p1 times under root u p2 okay and we can write it in this fashion uh, it will become p1 p2 times u okay i was just trying to show how do we yeah you know simplify this very thing so this comes out to be uh, p1 p2 
times u plus let's rub this out again and if we again simplify this it will come out to be so p2 uh, when transposing it will uh, get multiplied with this p2 it will become under root p2 multiplying with this it will again become uh, p1 p2 u which comes out to be since they are the same terms we can add up them so this becomes twice under root p1 p2 u this is the required expenditure function uh, you know which is a function of price of good one price of good two and utility okay so we derived it here i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you